actually considered letting this day pass without acknowledgement. Ignoring the day you died because it brings me inconvenient pain is only par for the selfish course I'm on right now. You, you would not be very happy with me right now, Emily. And I'm caught, I'm caught up in something that could blow everything that matters to me completely to hell. I, lo I love my brother, you know that. But I can't believe how much I'm betraying him right now and I'm ashamed by it. But Elizabeth, she has me in. She has me good. And I don't know how to give her up. Her God help me if I even want. Rough day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that again. It's still hard to believe she's gone. I know, I know. Think about the four of us at Kelly's. <laughs> Elizabeth Brownies, all that. It's the only thing she could make. I know. Remember when she tried to cook chicken? Oh, oh God. Yeah, we ate the brownies instead, thank God. Listen, when you were when you were walking up here, I, I was just telling Emily how disappointed she'd be in me right now. Why is that? Come on, I haven't exactly been living up to her expectations lately. You know what I think? I think you're too hard on yourself, and you don't give Emily enough credit. You lost the woman you love. You're allowed spiraling out periods. Emily wouldn't hold it against you. I don't think you really understand. I'm completely out of control right now. I'm constantly looking for, for something or someone to careen into and grab a hold of just so I don't drown, you know. I just I just think it's monumentally unfair. To who? <laughs> what? I was just blinded by the rock on your finger. Congratulations again. Elizabeth, it was great to see Lucky so happy last night. Uh, we're both happy. Somehow I'm finding that hard to believe. I'm sorry, am I not jolly enough for you? Well, maybe that's because today happens to be the anniversary of Emily's death. You know, my best friend, the love of Nicholas's life, your twin sister. You remember the woman that you and Ethan researched before you came here? to build Nicholas and his family out of all their money? Wow. I don't even know where to start. I'm well aware of what today is, Elizabeth, but this is one of those situations where I don't get to win. If I'd brought up Emily's death and you would have accused me of being manipulative You know what, I could I really care less about all of your moral dilemmas because it's a little too late. It's because of you that Nicholas is losing himself, doing things he otherwise never would have done. God's name is wrong with you. You don't have to answer that. I know you're concerned about Rebecca, but she's a tough lady. I'm sure that she'll be able to hang in there until you guys get to the other side of this. I'm glad I ran into you, though, because there's something I've wanted to say. I'm not completely oblivious. I realize that Having a ringside seat to Elizabeth and me getting back together hasn't been easy for you. You and Em didn't get that chance. Gift of time. Last night probably didn't help. Right. Right, thank you. Thank you. And again, I'm, I'm happy for the both of you. I know. But still. No, I, it's, and if that was an attempted apology, I really don't deserve one because you haven't done anything wrong. I'm the ass who's been using Emily's death as an excuse to do anything I want in a given moment just because it feels good, just because it gets me through the night. That's not right. It's uh, a little cryptic, but I, I think I can read between the lines. You've probably been a little hard on Rebecca lately. She lied to you. So you've probably been mad at her, said some things you shouldn't have. Now you're feeling guilty. 
But relationships aren't smooth sailing. I mean, you know that. Yeah. What matters is that the boat doesn't capsize. And from what I can see, you guys are still afloat. I'm glad. Emily would be too. I don't know what your problem is, Elizabeth, but uh, feel free to concentrate on your own life. Nicholas is doing just fine. If you knew him, you would have never said that. But since you don't, I'm going to enlighten you. Mm. Nicholas was finally piecing his life back together. And then you showed up with lies and manipulation, the same way you used Emily's memory to jerk him around to steal all of his money. And now he is plunging back into grief and self-destructive <sighs> impulses because of you. Okay, if that's what you need to believe, then don't let reality stop you. But you couldn't be more wrong. Are you seriously going to stand there and tell me you're not the reason? What I'm saying is, Nicholas isn't stuck in the past the way you seem to think. Not about Emily, and not about me. I don't understand why it's so hard for you to wrap your mind around that, but Nicholas has moved on. I should know. I'm the woman in his bed. Like last night, Elizabeth, he was easy and funny and tender, enthusiastic. Trust me, he isn't off in the corner of the turret room licking his wounds. He's the best at concealing what he really feels. Okay. Like I said, can't win with you, so I'm gonna stop trying. But I'll leave you with a question that maybe you should ask yourself. Why the hell are you so worried about Nicholas when you just got engaged to Lucky? I haven't been the best brother. Yeah, good cop. I'm always overthinking everything when I should have just been happy you'd found someone and left it at that. No, no, actually you were you were right not to become a cheerleader for Rebecca and me. Let's be honest, Lucky. The only reason I became so fixated on her is because she looks exactly like Emily, and that's not exactly healthy behavior, is it? Is there something going on I should know about? No, no, not really. It, it, something in your tone. Yeah, it's just, I, I struggle with, with a lot of things sometimes still, you know? That's probably always going to be the case to some extent. Days like this are bound to bring it all crashing back. Yeah. But what matters is that you're moving on. That's a good thing. I wonder... If it is, sometimes. Look, we both know that Rebecca can never replace M. No one can. But she's pretty terrific in her own right. Could have done a lot worse. <laughs> you play a matchmaker now? No, I'm just nudging you in the right direction. For Emily, on the day that we're remembering her, she would have wanted all of us to be happy. <laughs> imagine, imagine if she knew <laughs> Elizabeth and I were getting remarried. She'd be over the moon. <laughs> yeah, she would. <laughs>